one of the most important ways we look at a patient is looking at the brain waves. The system of brain frequency analysis that we use here in the clinic was first developed for the treatment of migraine. Migraine sufferers have a distinct pattern. We measure the alpha waves, beta waves, delta waves and theta waves. Now, the imbalances in these or low readings in these can indicate um, imbalances which will affect the health of the patient. Lowest frequencies in the brain very much associated with deep sleep, concentration, memory. Theta frequencies associated more with hormonal activity, low endorphin, estrogen progesterone and allergy histamine response. Alpha is associated with relaxation. So if we find great gaps in the alpha waves, then it indicates quite a lot of stress. Then the beta waves are more associated with the overall control of the body, the pituitary, the hypothalamus, and the adrenal axis. In other words, the chemistry or brain chemistry that controls how we function. Doing a spot check analysis of the brain activity over five to 10 minutes, we can determine where there are frequency gaps and dips. We can then feed the missing frequencies. Then it's like a piece of music. Hearing a piece of music over and over again, the brain begins to pick up the signals. From the analysis, the areas that we can find great benefit for patients are in children with ADHD or dyslexia or, um, as I said earlier on, the migraine sufferer. Results can be absolutely spectacular.